In this video I'm going to show you how to open the data files and how to plot simple graphs. The data that we imported from a previous step is now on our local computer and we can double click on the file. This message tells us that it's not the exact format that it was expecting but you can click yes and it will import the data. In Excel uh, these are common features that all the data is separated into cells with the heading at the top and rows. What we want to do is to make a graph of the 16 cells, cells 1 to 16. We'll ignore for the moment the maximum and minimum and average values. So I'll click on G and I'll drag my mouse across to v, the V column C16. So that's all the data in those columns now highlighted. Then I'll go up to insert on the top here and I'll click line. Insert a line chart and I'll pick 2D line. You can pick any of these and play around but I'll just pick 2D line. So there we have our simple graph. We can make it bigger on this page but if we put more graphs on they'll just get piled up so what we'll do is we'll move this to its own tab these are the tabs down here I will go to the top part of the graph and click right click and move chart I'll select new sheet and give it a name we'll call it cells so that chart is now here in its own tab We've got quite a lot of space in here. Excel has decided that it's going to put uh, the scale from zero. So we can change that by clicking here. Vertical axis, right click, format the axis. And if we go to here the axis options, we see that it's automatically placed to zero there. We want to change that to a fixed value. And we want to say, let's have 2,500. Let's also change the upper value to 3600. I'll close it. Okay, so there we can see our data more spread out. Then we had some charging, and we had a high voltage cutoff event at, three, at around 355. So this graph shows very nicely some discharge cycles, a low voltage cutoff and a high voltage cutoff point. In Excel we can also change uh, how we look, how, what data is presented here. By default, this x-axis is numbered by the first column, the, number of the, the row numbers. If we want to change that to this, to the times, what we can do is go back to our graph select that axis, right click and select data. Okay so now it's asking us which data do we want to select. Um, our horizontal axis is this one, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's change that, edit. And it's taking us back to our graph. Let's go to our data. So now we want to input the axis range. And this is saying sheet 126 day column A. That's everything. I clicked on the A up here and now it's selected everything. So I'll click OK and we can see quickly it's now put the times in there and now the times are at the bottom. This is also quite useful if you're making your own data spreadsheets and let's say these are your student names John, Paul, Ringo. These are their test results through the year and the dates on which they took the tests. You can then plot a graph of how they were doing through each test. And it would look something similar like this. Okay, thank you for watching.